General Motors is, in every sense of the word, an institution typical of America. An organization, we like to call it a family, that has its being in thousands of communities all over the country. In almost every one, we are represented to a greater or less degree. In all these various neighborhoods, the members of the General Motors family, the workers in its factories, its field organization, its dealers, and their employees, all are citizens of the community, and through their activities contribute to its civil, social, and economic welfare and advancement. In this widespread organization, each must necessarily be so intent with his own daily duties, discharging his individual responsibilities, that it is difficult to visualize the activities of other members or branches of the family. Even when we are close together in terms of distance, we are unfortunately limited to a very narrow horizon of observation and that presents a most important problem. Last year, at our executives' conference, I introduced to the group gathered there the chief executive of each division and his immediate associates. In each instance, I took a minute or so to mention briefly some pertinent facts concerning the division its origin, its record, or some other feature. Because of the interest shown in those introductions, it has been suggested that this part of that program be reproduced in the hope that it might promote a broader understanding of what constitutes General Motors. Today, we have 37 operating divisions with manufacturing activities scattered over 14 states. The wide variety of our products, and they are being continually expanded, the services rendered present a broad and important cross-section of American industrial activity. Our responsibilities to our institution, to every other member of our great family, and to the public at large are great. We are engaged in every sense of the word in a cooperative enterprise. No one of these groups is more important than another. The interests of all are mutual. Our policy must be determined from the standpoint of a balanced whole. I hope what follows will help each one of you to know General Motors better.